If you're watching this video, then you're probably on the fence about quail farming or adding quail to your homestead or small farm. And today we're gonna go over both the pros and the cons to help you make the best decision on if they truly are the right addition. I'm Danielle of the Slidero Farm and welcome to our channel where we bring you new content every week on how to become a homestead and live a more self-sustainable lifestyle. We're gonna go head over to the barn and start talking about some of the pros of quail, so let's go. Here at our farm, we have a few different animals. We have chicken, turkey, rabbits, and quail. And I would say the quail and rabbits are probably my two favorites of our farm. And we actually have a video listing the pros and cons of rabbits as well that I can link down below for you guys to watch. There are so many great pros for quails. The chickens were a little feisty out there, so I came inside so that we have a quieter background to talk about all of our pros and cons. First off, they are a small bird and they really are really efficient meat source for such a small space. As you can see, the bird is quite small and they don't need that much space to live in. So you could have them on a porch or patio, in a garage corner, in a barn like we had, and they don't take up that much space. They don't have too much of a smell. So you really don't have to worry there and you just have to worry about cleaning up any of their fecal matter. So you really can not worry about having a large setup for your quail. They're great for beginners because honestly, they're kind of just like mini chickens. And when you do harvest them for me, you're gonna find that around one to two quail is gonna be enough for an average size adult. I know Chris and I will cook up usually four and kind of just have that and some veggies and we are more than full. They're really easy to harvest. The whole harvesting process is very, very easy. There's some great videos on YouTube that you can find around that. And it's just a low cost that you need to do to get into them. And that brings me into the second pro, and that is they are a low cost, easy animal to get started with in homesteading. They don't require too much of a setup cost. You're just going to need the basic cage for them, which there are really two options you can do in regards to cages. You can do one in atrium style, and this is gonna be really high ceilings, or you can do the second, which is a lower ceiling height. And this is really because when a quail is afraid, they're going to pop. And basically, if they hear a predator or noises, they'll pop up in fear. And if they have the atrium, they can go really high. And if they have the lower ceilings, it's not gonna give them enough momentum to actually hurt themselves when they do go to the ceiling of the cage. So you really have those two different options there. You don't need any bedding. As you saw in ours, we just have plastic cages with a drop down. You can also do wire cages and have a slanted drop down for your eggs to funnel down in. They don't need any roosting bars or anything of the likes. So it does create just an easier space for that. And when you do harvest them, they are a really tasty bird. They have a lot of flavor and they are delicious and cook up really well that you're going to truly love them. And they're quite a delicacy. You don't see them on the menu too often. So it is really exciting when you are able to eat them and to know that you can create them on your own. Another pro is that you can truly raise them almost anywhere. We have them in our barn, but they are a lot quieter than chickens. There aren't too many laws around them. I would definitely check with your town or state and kind of see because they are considered a game bird if there are any regulations around them. But usually there will be regulations around chickens and how many roosters you can have. And I haven't seen it in our area for quail. They do make some noises, but it isn't as loud as a rooster where your neighbors would probably never even know that you had quail. I don't think any of ours do unless we've told them because they are relatively quiet, don't take up that much space, and they're kind of always in their cage. They're not out in the, f in the freedom because once they do leave, you can't really free range quail because they will like hide under bushes and scurry away. So you would need to keep them in a caged environment. Another pro is that they make beautiful little tiny eggs. They're so fun. They all have their own kind of 
design and you're going to notice that although they are a little bit smaller than chicken eggs each hen will lay around one egg per day after around seven weeks of age. So they're gonna get to the egg laying stage a lot earlier than your chickens, and they're gonna be laying a really consistent number of eggs. And you can really sub in these eggs from any of your baking to cooking needs. So from eggs at breakfast all the way to adding them in to desserts at the end of the day. And it can go into any recipe. It's just a three or four quail to chicken egg ratio. And they're gonna be packed with protein, minerals, and other vitamins that are gonna be great for you to add into your diet. And I know we will kind of add them into different things that we're cooking. And they're just a delicacy and super fun to have around the house. With that, they are gonna provide or could provide an additional source of income. I know that we sell our quail eggs at around a dozen for $5. You can sell them on Etsy, you can sell them in your town or to friends, and it's gonna help with some additional costs or help pay for their feed. You can also sell any of the hatching eggs, so any for eating as well as hatching. And then you can also raise breeding pairs and sell those as well. And those will probably be a little more costly that you can sell them. And they're usually going to be at breeding age at around seven to eight weeks again. And also that's when you would harvest them if you want to sell them for meat, if you're able to do that in your area additionally for another source of income. The last pro that I have here is if you haven't realized this already, quail are a lot faster than chickens at almost everything. They're going to be able to lay eggs at a faster at a faster rate at around seven to eight weeks. They're gonna be able to harvest around seven to eight weeks and they just grow to size pretty quickly, but they also are going to be able to hatch really quickly. So at our farm, we actually, our quails will lay eggs and then we will incubate them and turn them into quails so we're able to create um, a whole system within our quail where we're able to harvest them and then also breed them to make new quail. And the hatching process for our Quaternic quail is around 15 to 18 days. And depending on what type of quail you have, it can fluctuate. But 15 days for something to hatch is a very quick time. And we've had a really successful hatch rate with our quail and our incubator. So definitely something to think about. Now those are some pretty great pros, but there are also some cons to quails. And ending this, I want you to know everything that is positive as well as negative so you have the right information in front of you to make the best decision on whether you should add quails to your homestead or farm. So let's get started and talk a little bit about some of the cons that we found with our quail. Our first con is going to be that the quail chicks are going to be a lot more fragile than chicken chicks. When you order chickens, you usually can order them as chicks or pick them up at your local tractor supply or feed stores as chicks. And when you get quail, most of the time you will get them as hatching eggs and then you will actually need to do the incubation on your own. Or you can buy a breeding pair, but I haven't seen too many actual quail chicks. And this is because they are just very fragile. A lot of them might not make it to the adult stage and you're going to notice that you're going to need to coddle these quail chicks a lot more than your chickens just because they are so fragile. Another con of quail is that they are very afraid very easily and they can get stressed out very easily. You want to make sure that you have them in a safe space with all four walls and protected because they are going to get really afraid of predators and if they hear frightening noises then they might not lay for a day or two until their stress levels go down which isn't too much of a problem but something to know. Another con is they will not hatch their own eggs. You will need to actually incubate them. They're not very broody so they're not going to be sitting on their eggs and hatching their own, you are going to want to get an incubator and we have a great incubator. I'll link it down below. It's the 360 Nurture Right 360 and it is so good and it only takes around 15 days to incubate them. So not too long depending on the type of quail you have, but they're not going to incubate their own, which is kind of nice in that you don't have to worry about it. And a lot of times we have our eggs just drop down into a system so you can pick them up and grab them and it's not too much of a worry anyway. Their small size can be both a pro and a con. A con in that 
quail probably aren't going to be a sustainable meat source for you and your family. It's going to be hard to live off of them because they are smaller in size. They're not like a chicken when you harvest a chicken and you get all of the meat that's there that can feed an entire family. There are going to be something that you might want to have as a part of your diet, but not the whole diet. If you are hunting or raising other animals, you're gardening, then it won't matter too much, but it would be hard to rely on just quails as your sole part of your diet. And obviously probably wouldn't be the right amount of nutrients that you need as well, but their size can be a hindrance on their sustainability in the long term. Two other cons that might be points to think about are one, oof, they are dirty. They're very dirty animals in a few ways. One, when they eat, they're going to take their food and throw it everywhere. So you want to make sure that their food is contained in an area. In our feeder system, we have a tray and there's um, like a grate over it so that they can't kind of throw everything everywhere, but they will. And they poop a lot. Their poop is everywhere. It's pretty large for the size of them. And you're going to notice that you're going to have to be cleaning out their cages pretty regularly to help keep a clean environment. And the last con is that they are noisy. The roosters are going to make a loud rooster noise. It's not super loud that if you have acreage, you would even notice if it's in your barn. We don't hear it in our house at all from our barn, but it does make a noise where if you had it on your porch, I know one of our friends was living in an apartment situation and they had quail on their porch and they actually got rid of them because they were being really annoying and loud and you could hear them all the time. So something definitely to think about if you are going to be wanting to breed them or have a large supply of fertile eggs, you are going to want that rooster and there are going to be those noises of it. Those are our pros and cons for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I really wish we could be outside in the barn, but the chickens were quite loud and annoying, but I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please make sure to give it a like and we'll see you guys again next time.